Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Our topic for today is overview of statistical and induction learning. So, what is statistical learning? Stati statistical learning is an artificial intelligence. It's a set of tools for machine learning that use statistics and functional analysis. In simple words, statistical, statistical learning is understanding from training data and predicting on unseen data. Statistical learning is used to build predict predictive models based on the data. Statistical learning can be used to build applications for computer vision, text analytics, voice recognition, and more. So, stati statistical learning is a set of tools for understanding data. These tools broadly come, come under two classes, which is supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So, we proceed to supervised learning. So, what is supervised learning? Supervised learning or SL is the machine learning task of learning a function function that maps an inputs to an output based on example input output pairs. It infers a function from labeled training data consisting of a set of training sample. A supervised learning algorithms analyze the training data and produce inferred function which can be used for mapping example. An optimal scene will allow the algorithm to correct determine the class labels for unseen instances. This requires the learning algorithms to generalize from the training data to unseen situation in a reasonable way. This statistical quality of an algorithm is measured through the so-called generalization error. So let's proceed to an example. So this is the example of supervised learning. In supervised learning, our goal is to learn the mapping function f, which refers to being able to understand how the input x should be matched with output y using available data. Here, the machine learning models learn to fit mapping between example of input features with their associated labels. When models are trained with this example, we can use them to make new prediction on unseen data. The, predict the predicted labels can be both numbers or categories. For instance, if we are predicting house price and the output is a number, in this case, the model is a radiation model. If we are predicting if an email is spam or not, the output is category and the model is classified model. Example, the house price. So, one practical example of supervised learning problems is predicting house price. How this achieved? First, we need data about the house, houses, square footage, number of rooms, features, whether a house has a garden or not, and so on. We then need to know the prices of these houses. The corresponding labels by leveraging data coming from thousands of houses, their features and prices, we can now train supervised machine learning models to predict a new house, new house price based on example observed by the model. And now we proceed to unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is a machine learning technique in which users do not need to supervise the model. Instead, it allows the model to work on its own to discover patterns and information that was previously un undetected. It mainly deals with the unlabeled data. Unsupervised learning al algorithm allow users to perform more complex processing tasks compared to supervised learning. Although unsupervised learning can be more predictable compared with other natural learning methods. Unsupervised learning algorithms include clustering, anomaly detection, neural networks, and etc. The example of unsupervised learning is, let's take the case of a baby and her family dog. She knows and identifies this dog. Few weeks later, a family friend brings along a dog and tries to play with the baby. Baby has not seen the, this dog earlier but recognizes many features, two ears, eyes, walking on four legs, are like her pet dog. She identifies the new animal as a dog 
This is unsupervised learning where you are not taught but you, you learn from the data. In this case, data about a dog had been supervised learning. The family friend would have to tell baby that it's a dog. What is induction learning? Induction or inductive learning is also known concept learning. Concept learning is how AI system attempt to utilize and gen generalize rule to, car to carry out observations to generate a set to generate a set of classification rules and, and rules. Inductive learning algorithm or ILA are used. These generated rules are in the if this then in that format. These rules determine the state of entity or entity at each iteration step is learning and how learning can be effective change adding more rules to the existing rule set. When the output and examples of the function are fed into AI system, inductive learning attempts to learn the function of the, for the net data. The fundamental concept of inductive learning. There are two methods for obtaining knowledge in the world. First, from the domain experts, and second, from the machine learning. Domain experts are not very useful or re reliable for large amounts of data. As a result, for this, as a result, for this project, we are adopting a machine learning approach. The other method using machine learning replicates the logic of experts in algorithms, but this work may be very complex, time-consuming, and expensive. As a result, an option is inductive as option is the inductive algorithms, which generate a strategy for performing a task without require, requiring instruction at each step. According, according to Jason Jason Brownlee in his article Basic Concepts of Machine Learning, an excellent method to understand how inductive learning work, works is, for example, if we are given input samples or X and output samples F and X, from the perspective of induct inductive learning, and the problem is to estimate the function, or F. It is necessary then it is necessary then to generalize from the samples and the mapping so that it can be used to estimate output for new samples in the future. In practice, estimating the function is almost always too complicated so we seek excellent appro approximations some practical examples of induction are credit risk assessment the x is the property of the customer the f of x is a credit approved or not disease diagnosis the x is the characteristic of the given patient the f of x is the patient's disease face recognition the x are bitmaps the bitmaps of the faces we want to recognize the f of x is name assigned to the to that face automatic steering or autos, autonomous driving the x is a bitmap image from the camera in a front car in front of the car the f of x is a de degree which is steering wheel which we should be turned application there are some situations in inductive learning is not a good idea it is critical to understand when and when not used to supervise machine learning Inductive learning may be helpful in the following situations. Problems in which, 
no human expertise is available. People cannot write a program to solve a problem if they don't know the answer. These are areas ripe for explore, exploration. Humans can complete the, the task, but no, no one knows how to do it. There are situations in which humans can do things that computers cannot, <clears throat> cannot or do not do well. Riding a bike or driving a car are two examples. Problems Problems where the desired function is frequently changing. Humans cannot describe it and write it, a program to solve it. But the problem changes too frequently, it is not economical. The stock market is one example. Problems where each user requires a unique function. Writing a custom, writing a custom program for each user is not cost-effective effective consider netflix or amazon recommendations for movies or books conclusion in the case where traditional statistical approaches fail due to scalability and flexibility issues inductive machine learning tools like neural networks and decision decision trees provide that Alternative methods for classification, clustering, and pattern recognition that in a theory that can extend complex or deep data sets that pervade geography. Inductive learning algorithms are domain agnostic and they can be applied in any task that requires classification or pattern recognition. There are there has been an increase in the amount of research of, on inductive learning and its application to various domains in recent years. Several, several good algorithms have, man, have emerged as a result of this research. It is worth it keeping an eye. Thank you and God bless everyone. Stay safe and stay hydrated.